Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today I show you a trick to solve the Boolean algebra questions. And that trick, or it is a shortcut called the redundancy theorem. Redundancy theorem. Okay? But for this, we have some conditions to apply this redundancy theorem these conditions must be met number one your logic expression must contain three variables this theorem is for an expression of three variables okay the second one the second condition is what each variable or each literal is repeated twice so this is the second condition that each literal is repeated twice number third is what that one of the literals is complemented so these are the three conditions that must be satisfied in order to apply the redundancy theorem okay so once these three conditions are met what do you do so you do what let me write it over here with the red color take the complemented literal and drop the other. Now by this complemented literal we do not only mean the one that is complemented, the other that is not complemented is also has to be taken. Like for example if A is complemented so you have to take this a comp the, the term containing a complement and also you have to take the term containing a okay this would be clear with the examples so let me have an example a if y is a function given as a b plus a complement c plus b c so checking for the conditions, three variables, three variables. Each variable is repeated twice, so have a look, twice. And one literal is complemented, so A is complemented. Now if you apply the redundancy theorem, so you have to take the complemented variable and the, its other part, which means that you drop the BC and take the complemented variable A. So A complemented you will take and the term, another that, that has the A as well. So the simplified version after applying the redundancy theorem is directly AB plus A complement C. All right. Now, if you want to prove it, let's say, let's say we want to prove if this redundancy theorem is true or not. So taking the function, I introduce A into the third term. Y is equal to AB plus A complement C plus BC and this is BC into 1 and anything odd with its complement is 1 so I can write it as this AB plus A complement C is as it is and then we have ABC plus A complement BC okay and these two we have AB common so I can write it as AB time 1 plus C and in the next we have a complement C common so a complement C 1 plus B now C plus anything out with 1 is again the same thing anything out with 1 is 1 I confuse it with the end operation always so anything out with 1 is 1 so C out with 1 is 1 and B out with 1 is 1 so this is 1 and this is 1 and then anything odd with anything ended with one is again the same thing. So which means this has been simplified to AB 
plus a complement c which satisfies the redundancy theorem. Okay, so let me show you another example. If f is, if the function f is given as a b plus b c complement plus a c. Again, three variables. Each variable is repeated twice. One literal is complemented. So take the complemented ones, which means we drop the a b and we take this one. So it would be a c plus b c complement. You can prove it for yourself as I did for this one. If we talk about another one, uh, if f is equal to a plus b times b complement plus c into a plus c. Again the same. Now if you are having to simplify this, this would take a lot of time, but the redundancy theorem makes it a very short. b is complemented, three, two times repeated both and three variables. So take the complemented one, which means this term contains b and this term contains b. So we take this. So it will be equal to a plus b into b complement plus c. That's all. All right. Now let me clear a point of confusion, okay? If we have, uh, let's say I remove this part of it. Let's say I have a question that a function g is given, a complement, b complement, plus a into c complement, plus b complement c complement now have a look we needed only one result to be complemented and the previous examples were very simple as we only talk as we only see uh, saw one literal complement but over here we have one two three and four and five literals complemented the first condition is met three variables the second condition is met each variable is complemented twice but what about the third so for the third condition, we see that we have a literal that is complemented and that has a form that is not complemented. That is present in another term which is not complemented. So the third one, the third point uh, can be altered like this or could be completed like this that one literal is complemented in one term and not complemented in another. So then you do what? Take this literal that is complemented in one term and not in another. Now here, over here look. This B is complemented over here and B is complemented again over here. So which means this is not our term. A is complemented over here, not complemented over here. So which means this is the term that we are talking about. We have to take this literal. We have to take what? We have to take the literal A. So take the two terms containing the literal A and drop the other. Which means by applying the redundancy theorem, this well, the function of this value G is what a complement b complement plus a times c complement is that clear yes it should be it's an easy one okay but still if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below and do subscribe to the youtube channel and that's all for today see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you goodbye